Hi all, I have an amazing game to show you today. This shows uh, one of the lines which has been mentioned by Alex Kolovich, Grandmaster Alex Kolovich, in the free short and sweet course you can get at King's Crusher TV free anti-Sicilian. So that's a new chessable course to check out. And against the Smith Mora, I thought uh, I would contact Decap to provide me some, with some games of the latest Stockfish, Stockfish 11 actually, against one of the latest Leelas. So this is 62076. The time control for them, it's a three minute game with a two second increment. Uh, Leelas with an RTX 2070 and uh, Stockfish with a four core uh, processor machine. So let's have a look at what happened in this game. So Stockfish 11, E4, the opening set. So Sicilian defense and this very, very interesting variation in the Smith Morrow Gambit, where Black plays this uh, after c3, Black plays this e5. We have knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, and knight f6, which is quite provocative, provoking white to play knight g5, which looks familiar to kind of fried liver stuff you get in the two knights defense, uh, which uh, is very, very interesting. So d5, same sort of move there, knight a5, bishop b5 check. Bishop d7, Queen e2, and now Bishop d6. So this is the end of um, the book, nearly. Sorry, Bishop d6. But at this point, uh, the over the board world hasn't really seen this position much at all because of this b4, presumably, that it's going to win a piece. So why would anyone with black play this? Uh, there's a correspondence game with Bishop e7 in 2014, which ended in a win. Uh, with, with the white pieces so that wasn't really inspiring confidence after black seemingly just lost the piece for not too much and white went, went on to win uh, that so uh, why would over the ball players explore this position but the first upgrade to that is uh, bishop d6 uh, so b4 so it seems as though well what's the point of this just losing the knight so bear with it h6 knight f3 black castles so uh, Stockfish 11, a whole piece up in this variation chosen. B takes A5. Uh, the point is, though, Black has D3. This is quite a disruptive move, to say the least. Queen B2. And uh, if Bishop takes D3, then there's E4. And uh, with the king in the center, the queen takes, there's rookie 8. So Queen B2. And here we reach the end of the book. So this is a kind of theoretical exploration of this suggested line. Is there enough compensation with the black pieces here? Uh, Stockfish 11 plays knight d4. And at the moment, thinks, you know, white's pretty good. White's in good shape. White has the advantage. So where is the black compensation? Uh, is uh, Grandmaster Kolovich correct to say, you know, black's fine here? So this is a bold kind of choice against the Smith Mora to sacrifice a whole piece to play for the attack. Uh, one aspect of this which I find fascinating, sometimes if you play the elephant gambit, you often dislodge this knight and you're looking at h2 more critically. It becomes a softer soft spot, so to speak. Uh, is that going to be a problem? Is there going to be some sort of attacking potential here? Rook c8 and white does castle. We have rook e8 and now bishop takes, queen takes, and now Stockfish chooses queen b5. And at this point thinks it's just much better. It does like being a piece up. And uh, are there any dangers here? Uh, if instead h3, then in fact this move queen b5 could be ruled out with a6. And say knight a3, uh, this position though, black actually stands okay. Uh, so there's a lot of compensation. The two pawns in the center, yeah, the king is kind of dangerous. Uh, black technically is doing fine. For example, bishop d2, this kind of situation shows the dangers, uh, there's dangers potentially lurking on, on the diagonals and rook lefts. So, um, okay, so we have this uh, queen b5 immediately, no h3, which would prevent queen g4. So uh, black does go for queen g4 h3 queen h5 bishop a3 okay it looks a little bit awkward for white still spectator pieces but is this uh 
enough compensation for black. Bishop f4, maintaining that bishop. So it seems, uh, what about this uh, potential passed pawn though? And that knight's protecting the queen. We have the move d6. So looking at the queen here and protected by the knight. Uh, so here instead, uh, if g3, queen takes, snapping up another piece, that's too much. Knight g4, and that's just mating the white king. So, okay, so we have d6 here, rook e5, queen takes b7, and for the moment, Stockfish thinks it's still fairly okay. Uh, but now, after rook g5, things are being pointed at the white king. Uh, we have queen takes a7, but here is where things start uh, getting super dangerous with this next key move. There's a very tempting possibility of just sacking a rook, uh, which is also pretty dangerous. But this, this other alternative is, is super strong as well. On rook takes, uh, for example, this situation looks as though uh, it's very dangerous with knight d5 later even. Uh, and then bishop e5, it's, it is actually super dangerous, this position. Uh, for example, this is absolutely murderous for the white king. So it's already quite critical. So we have knight d5 though. And this introduces the possibilities of that ridiculous looking knight e3, which can play a very important role to further sort of damaging white's king safety. So knight d5, we have rook g1. Uh, here on a6, then rook takes g2, queen g5 check. Queen h4, and can you guess what happens here? If I give you five seconds, what would black play in this position? So, up for 100 points, what would you play? Okay, knight e3 check plays a killer role in this position. So, the queen's not eyeing it because of that knight. And if king g1, then that's just mating. Uh, but if f takes, that's also just mating with um, queen g3 and queen h2. So that's an absolutely crushing uh, situation. So instead of a6, rook g1. But now uh, we have two really, really strong moves. The latest Stockfish 11 finds a really impressive looking move as well as what was played. Can you guess either of the two moves? I wonder if, what would you play in this position with black? Okay, so if you said either rook g4 or knight e3, well done. In the game, rook g4 was chosen. So knight e3 for some similar impacts to what was seen before. If taking, that weakens uh, things after rook g3 threatening rook h3 mating. And this, this bishop uh, and rook and queen are just uh, crushing. So here, if knight d2, then knight takes g2. This is carnage for the king. So uh, rook g4, though, as chosen by Leela, is also very, very strong. Knight f5 is really desperate, but black's just going to play rook h4 here. It's super dangerous. This is a really desperate move. Queen takes queen e7. Yeah, it's it's basically given up. Stockfish has basically given up, crumbled in this position after this rook g4. So yes, there does seem to be quite a lot of attacking compensation to do with this knight being dislodged. So this is a line which, um, you know, is a shocking, one of the more shocking peace sacrifice lines in the uh, free short and sweet anti Sicilian course to check out. And it really hasn't been tested much over the board chat in over the board chess. You might want to test it online against Smith Mora Gambit enthusiasts. Uh, but yeah, from th this point on, it's kind of academic after the queen e7 that queen's taken. I'll show you the rest of the game, but it's kind of all over, of course. Rook takes g2. Okay, d2. Leela does uh, enjoy the end game as usual by giving some material back soon. So I'll just show you what happened. Yeah, it's absolutely winning, but. Uh, we have uh, Leela giving the bishop here. <laughs> okay, uh, but then eventually, yes, it drags on the game, unfortunately, quite a bit. And uh, eventually the conversion was made with these two pawns being very, very strong. 
the two connected past pawns gravitating winning more material and here it was uh, adjudicated actually as a win for black at this point uh, so yeah this is a very very interesting idea against the Smith moral gambit involved losing a knight deliberately on a5 I thought uh, because I didn't really see high level games in this I thought this wasn't uh, <laughs> something I would definitely try but now after seeing this very very high level engine game I think I will definitely try and try it if anyone wants to play the Smith Morrow against me but also if you want to try it and let me know what happens with this kind of knight's gambit to get this very dangerous uh, very dangerous pawns in the center and attacking potential please let me know in the comments so you might want to check out this and other lines in that free short and sweet anti-Sicilian course Kings Crusher TV slash free anti-Sicilian. Okay. Thanks very much.